I had a bunch of, or a couple questions anyway, about what was going on um, <clears throat> in my last post. This is the uh, American number one, the uh, American, I can't get the light off of it enough, but anyway, American buttonhole uh, over semen or something. <laughs> anyway, it's a light family number one model from uh, about 1877 according to the serial number. Um, I made a video a while back of this machine sewing without <coughs> missing the front stitch plate or the front slide plate the bobbin cover or the shuttle cover and uh, anyway so see what we got right now is I've got I have the rear stitch plate or I keep calling it a stitch plate the rear slide plate and I have the this plate uh, needle plate stitch plate whatever you want to call that one and uh, <clears throat> yeah as you can tell this machine is pretty rough uh, haven't done a lot to it uh, yet other than got it sewn put a new belt on got it sewn and um, uh, got some walnut wood coming to make new drawers for this but anyway uh, so like I said what I got is no stitch plates and I will continue this in shortly going to continue on here now <clears throat> what I did was took my caliper got the cr uh, critical measurements off of this uh, the rear stitch plate is going to be the same width um, as what I need for the front stitch plate uh, I did find out from uh, Steve Wood and Sue's Ravel that this hole uh, in the front stitch plate the original front slide plate would have had that same hole in it so I know that now and this part here is where the new stitch plate would slide into uh, unfortunately that's a very hard piece to machine uh, I've made a stitch plate before I mean slide plate before never had to make one with this funny protrusion uh, on it <laughs> So what I did is I got the measurements that I needed off these two plates and I drew them up in AutoCAD and uh, what I got right here is the two dimensional drawing uh, which is what I would need for the auto for the CNC mill uh, to do and uh, see I can uh, get all my measurements I'm having to do this one handed and I'm not used to doing this one handed see that's uh, so that's what we got uh, I can do this I start from this bottom corner or top corner wherever and I get my zero and then uh, I write the program from there for the mill and uh, one more thing I'll do real quick here uh, let me change layers here I do have this in 3d also uh, I usually draw everything in 3d Oops. Like I said, it's hard to do this <laughs> one handed. Yes, I know. Okay. All right, now that's awful bright. But, uh, all right. And I change this projection so it looks right. Okay, now there is a stitch plate. Um, the only thing I didn't do was on these corners. I didn't cut the there'd be a slight bevel on these corners uh, where um, it slides into the, the 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 iron of the bed is cut in uh, has a groove cut in it to uh, um, to hold the plate in and the it slides in. So anyway, this is what I basically. I'm going to make on the CNC mill and I'm not going to show a video of it because we're not allowed to have video cameras at work and the CNC mill that I'm using is at work I'm doing it at lunch and uh, so you won't be able to see that if you want to see a CNC mill in action just go to YouTube whatever anyway this is the plate that I cut uh, these a couple days ago 
filed it to fit last night. This this looks rough. It's not. It's very smooth. Um, it's just these is the marks that the milling machine, uh, the end mill you, leaves in the plate as a cut because I had to cut this down from uh, eighth inch, 125 thousandths, down to uh, 62 thousandths thick is what the uh, these other two plates are. I had to bring this one down to that thickness. I had to cut that and of course I made this plate before I knew about how that hole was supposed to be. It's going to be no problem to take this back. Uh, I wasn't able to do it today. I was planning on it. But I wasn't able to do it today because uh, somebody else had the CNC mill at lunch on their lunch break. So I wasn't able to do it. But anyway, so now now that I know where the hole is, though, uh, like I said, I can, I've can i got it drawn in there. Got it drawn in the two-dimensional uh, drawing. So uh, we'll... Uh, There. And uh, so anyway, there's the 2D drawing, and that pretty much covers, hopefully, answering the questions that uh, some had about what was going on and why was I showing the picture of that rusty old machine. <clears throat> Excuse me, with the uh, with this plate laying in it. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, don't want to keep rambling, but. Anyway, this is what we have. These two locked together now. Uh, these two plates slide together. And I don't know if we can... Yeah. You can see the edge right there. See the bevel. On it. Yeah. Yeah. See how it's beveled? <laughs> okay. That's enough. Uh, I will... Post pictures of this once I take this back cut the hole in it I also have to cut another well I've got another one laying here somewhere um, I did make two of these because uh, Steven Sarah's machine is missing a slide plate so I thought while I was making um, one for mine I would make one for them too since it's just about as easy to make two as it is one so uh, anyway that's the end of this video you're probably tired of listening to me yapping yappy yappy anyway that uh, I wanted to explain what I was doing and what CNC meant uh, what, uh, how to, how I actually do that, <clears throat> but anyway, like I said, have a good night.